Тогда нельзя было говорить. Нельзя было... Что такое баби Яр? Это холмы, ущелья, вся зеленая зона. И немцы устроили массовое, один из самых массовых уничтожений в истории людства. In September 1941, the Nazis occupied Kiev and summoned its Jews to a checkpoint near the ravine of Babin Yar. Bring your valuables, warm clothes and linen, the notice said, and thousands queued up, hoping they were going to be taken to Germany or to Palestine. In fact, the Nazis had gathered them for a mass execution. During two days they killed 34,000 people, not using any machines, not using any automatics, not using the gas chambers, etc. They simply killed by bullets. Wherever the Nazis went in Ukraine and Eastern Europe, the horrors of Babin Yar were repeated. Between two million and two million and a half shot by bullets. There was no deportation, there was no concentration camps, there were no gas chambers. All the Jews were killed in the villages and buried in the villages. What's that called privilege? Eighty years on, how should the desire to move on be balanced with the need to remember? It's uh, the killing site of local Jews. If uh, the lady is not here to tomorrow, nobody knows. It's a weird situation when such an important site is ignoring what happened here so much. There are still people in Ukraine who remember the horrors of Babin Yar. Igor was five at the time. He reads from documents that record the killing of five of his relatives, three of them young children. Oh, елки палки. Бураковский, Арон, 38 Белозовский, Семён Аронович, 72 -го года рождения. Белозовская, Стесия Борисовна, 74 -го года рождения. Это бабушка и дедушка. Фу. Larissa was just a year old in 1941 and has an extraordinary story of survival. Larissa was carried by her mother towards the Nazi checkpoint, but at the last moment, her mother hesitated. For years, Larissa had no idea what happened to her mother after she gave her up at Babinyar. Никто, никто ничего не рассказывал абсолютно. Этой темы старались не касаться тогда. Тогда нельзя было говорить, нельзя было. Despite this, Larissa's father, who wasn't a Jew, would often take her to Babinyar. He captured this picture of her during one of their visits after the war. Must have been very sad to go back with your father. Папа мне единственное, что мог сказать, что э, Ласа, ну, Ласа меня называли в детстве, Ласочка говорит, вот здесь твоя мама. Бабе Яр это было табу очень-очень долго. The Soviets didn't want to hear about the Jewish part of the tragedy because it ruined the official ideology of Soviet people. The official ideology said about one united Soviet people. So all Soviet people suffered during the World War II. And that's why it's not 
it's not wise, it's not good if we uh, underline and highlight the tragedy of one people. After the two-day massacre in September 1941, the ravines of Babinia continued to be used for mass executions. It's estimated that about 100,000 Jews, Romas, Ukrainians and Soviet prisoners of war were killed there in just over two years of Nazi occupation. You don't have to go far in Ukraine to find many more Babinyars. Historians estimate that between two and two and a half million Jews were killed during the Holocaust in Eastern Europe. Many of the details are still being discovered. For close to two decades, a team from a Paris-based organization have been making trips to villages in Eastern Europe looking for witnesses. Maybe you remember someone and know who is here around you, a grandmother, a grandmother, a grandmother, such as it would have been somewhere around 90, a little older. There is a grandmother who lives there at the end of 93 years. Can you come to you a little bit? Grandmother, do you not remember that they were shot here, besides the people here? There are Jews here, I saw them. You saw how they were shot here? They heard the cry. Ah, they heard the cry. I didn't see that cry, but the soldiers were very big. They were very big. They were very big. They were very big. Ага. 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 Така дорога йшла є в наше, то там мужчину розділи. А ви вже оце бачили, коли оцю яму засипали? Оце ви вже бачили самі, так? Так, як так кров бігла, як є вони, вони вже позору стали, це давно було. Ви бачили один раз, чи це відбувалося багато разів? Багато разів, це стуки були і крики. І навіть коли другий раз приходимо, а діти кажуть, ой, та що вона вам там скаже? Бабуся як починає розповідати, а діти кажуть, а що ж ви нам нічого таке не розповідали? Бо її ніхто не питав про то. Another old lady, Maria, wants to show the researchers what she says is the site of a mass grave. Ну так, від цієї дороги, ну певно, метрів десять, не більше. Оце так приблизно. І туди довго дійти? Ні, отак. Пожіть так, як метрів десять було звідти, там, дивіться, там, де то та сусненка та. This is where Maria says the town's Jews were shot and buried. Jewish religious beliefs mean they can't dig to verify what's there. Ну там їх, що ж ти зробиш? Тоді тут було поле, не було цього ліса. Та й каже для матері, що мам. Не знаю, що ось приходив, щоб йти яма купати, щоб будуть тих вбивати євреїв. Ну то, а я чую, та й він дивиться на мене, та й пальцем гнув, що туди, туди не можна. A couple of days after the killings, Maria did go to the pit to take a look. А довга була яма? Ну така, ну, я не буду казати, ну тако насипали піску, скільки там дуже було, то я не буду до брехати. Так. Я не знаю. She's a very old woman. Can we trust what she's saying, that this is what happened? I think we can trust because uh... We came here with her and she, uh, she showed us the spot and we have another witness who came here with us and showed the same spot. And we have also some information in the archives, in the Soviet archives. Uh, they didn't precise the place, but we have some information. Are there lots of other sites like this around Ukraine? Yeah, in almost every village. If there were some Jews, uh, any Jew, 
after, before the war. Uh, we have almost in all the villages the places like, like this one, without the memorial, without nothing. When the Soviet planted the trees, they destroyed everything. So now you, you can see nothing. So yeah, it's, it's forgotten. If uh, the lady is not here to tomorrow, nobody knows this place. At Babignard, the ravines the Nazis filled with bodies are long gone. In the 1950s, industrial waste from a nearby brick factory was dumped there. The area was eventually turned into a park, and it now houses a few recently added memorials to the Jewish victims. This place is very, like, uh, intentionally cleared and kind of erased from the kind of landscape of Kiev. Such has been the transformation that until very recently, experts disagreed over exactly where the September 1941 massacre took place. You know, it's important for us that we not just know what happened and how things changed, but know that exactly. Maxim's team were asked to use maps, photos and 3D modelling to try to pinpoint the exact spot. The most useful evidence has been photos taken by a Nazi photographer in the days immediately following the killings. They show the quarry where the Jews were forced to leave their clothes and belongings and the ravine where the bodies of those killed were still being covered up with sand. Basically, first thing we were commissioned to do was to reconstruct the terrain from topographic maps of 1924. So that's the first... Uh, basically like a survey, topographic survey, from which we were able to build this kind of 3D model that is quite precise. And on that 3D model, we found this hill, which again, you'll see on many pictures, uh, that, you know, like it's, it's always like that. When you have a terrain with some kind of feature, somehow people are taking pictures and it kind of pops in many of those photos. By locating that hill and kind of referencing these photographs around that hill, we started to understand what happened where. Last year, Maxim's team announced that they now know where the massacre took place. So basically, this is the location where the Johannes Hölle, this military photographer, is going up the hill, and he's able to see this, this long ravine where people were shot. So um, the kind of, uh, again, this, this ravine that started over there goes all across there. He's able to see prisoners of war, that are covering up this uh, mass grave. Maxim says there's now a nearly completed apartment block on the site of the shootings. I think for me personally, it's a big, it's, it's a weird situation when such an important site, it's, it's, for me is like one of the most important sites in the history of Holocaust, is ignoring the, what happened here so much, right? The construction companies say they have permission to build and have not seen official evidence that it's on the 1941 site. We are still finding mass graves. Each of the dots on this map represent one of more than 3,000 mass graves that researchers have documented across Ukraine and Eastern Europe. Elderly witnesses have testified to what's become known as the Holocaust by bullets. Most of the killings, most of this genocide happened in broad daylight and it was by shootings. So that is the reason why the historians do the difference between Holocaust and Holocaust by bullets to be more specific on the methodology the Nazis used to exterminate the Jews in this part of Europe. You're being very methodical in going and trying to find as many mass graves, as many witnesses as possible. Why is it so important for you to document every little detail? It's very easy to find information today saying it didn't happen, it didn't exist. But when you present archives, when you present testimonies, when you present evidences of the crimes and you find the exact place where the Jews were killed, then you have proves to fight against Holocaust deniers. Чогось наші з України не шукають нікого, а це з другого государства йде, інтересується за те время. Що стоїм заінтересувало так у ті порі і те шукати цих людей вже відколи. Чи 
чем он важен? Важно помнить, потому что, ну, таких, как я, это последние, ну, вымерши динозавры, что ли, которые еще остались живы. И нужно, чтобы люди еще долго-долго помнили, и, и чтобы не повторилось этого. Потому что эти ужасы, когда детей, женщин, стариков, мужчин просто уничтожает за то, что ни за что, за то, что он еврей.